Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. See Mama June Star Lauren for the fans' new video. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Nearly everyone tied to Mama June Shannon has been under fire for begging for money online recently. It seems like many of them have tried to take advantage of the fact that everyone knows that June stole money from Alana Thompson. A number of people on social media have accused them of grifting from their fans. Dodo Shannon was getting slammed in the comments on her Instagram page after apparently asking her followers for money. She shared her grandson's cash app along with his graduation pictures. People in the comment section were in disbelief that she was asking strangers for money. Now, it seems like Pumpkin is trying to earn a little cash on the side. Mama June fans took to Reddit to discuss her new on life ends side hustle. A Reddit user posted a screenshot of Pumpkin's on life ends profile to a Mama June subreddit. Pumpkin is doing only fans, maybe that's why she needed the condemned building. Old surplus outlet, the person wrote. In the screenshot, you can see a risk profile photo and cover photo. Her bio reads, Come enjoy the spicy side of me with a tongue out emoji. Below that is the subscribe button, showing that Pumpkin charges $30.99 per month for her exclusive on life ends. Fans were quick to leave comments. She really missed the opportunity of using Pumpkin Spice, one person joked. I mean to you boo, but that price is a bit steep. If she lowers it, she'll get a lot more business. In Mo, another Reddit user wrote, referring to the $31 price tag. That price is ridiculous, a third person chimed in. She probably will make a lot of money the first month or so from people who will buy subscriptions because they are curious and then will cancel, one fan pointed out. Others took to the comment section to try and predict which of the family members would be next on OnlyFans. Several people said that Mama June herself would be on the spicy site. A number of others said Alana Thompson would be next. They'll do anything for money except work actual jobs, one person concluded. Season 6 of Mama June, Family Crisis wrapped up last week on Friday. You can watch reruns on WeTV. It is also available to stream on Hulu. Lauren Pumpkin Efford admits that she is a big fan of her stepfather, Justin Stroud, after a very traumatic year. She just lost her older sister, Anna Chickity Cardwell, so the whole family rallied together. It seems to have given Pumpkin a new perspective on her mother's husband. Read on for more details. When Lauren Pumpkin Ifford learned that her mother, Mama June, had a new man, she was not totally surprised. June had gone off to Alabama to be with a guy and ended up spending 50k on him. Yet, that was not the person she came back to Georgia with. Rather, she fell in love with Justin Stroud, who Pumpkin thought was a younger version of Sugar Bear, June's ex and Honey Boo Boo's father. Then, the marriage certificate came and Pumpkin was shocked as she had no idea that there was even a wedding. As time went by, Pumpkin started to get to know Justin and saw how he leveled out her mother. She started to feel much more comfortable with him, and then her sister, Anna Cardwell, got sick. Anna was diagnosed with stage 4 adrenal carcinoma, and the family soon had to rally. Mama June even left Alabama for Georgia to help with Anna and her two daughters. Now, Pumpkin is opening up about her feelings for Justin, and it seems the tide has drastically turned. According to In Touch Weekly, she shared how much he did for her mother while Anna was sick. Anna Cardwell passed away on Saturday, December 9th. She lived with Mama June for the last three weeks of her life. Lauren Pumpkin Ifford spoke with people about what an asset Justin has been since Anna got worse. She shared that Stroud carried 90% of the weight for June and did everything for her and everybody else. So, he was an incredible asset as a husband and a stepfather. Pumpkin went on to add, Because he's not blood, it was even that much more amazing how he really just stepped up and showed us what a good person he is. As if that was not enough, even Alana, 
Honey Boo Boo Thompson is a fan of her stepfather, who would Mama June in March 2022. I mean, he's not even blood, but he was doing everything, she chimed in. Everyone in the family went away for Anna's last trip to Gatlinburg right before she passed. Unfortunately, Alana had college obligations in Colorado, so she could not make it. When Anna did pass, many of the family shared a portrait and Justin Stroud was front and center. He was smiling as was everyone else, so it is clear he is beloved. Lauren Pumpkin Ifford broke down on Instagram as she shared one of the last photos that her sister Anna Chickadee Cardwell sent her before her passing. As fans know, Anna Cardwell passed away on December 9th. Pumpkin revealed that her sister would send her photos referred to as fashion shows. In the photos, Anna would beam with joy as she showed off her fashion fit to her sister. Lauren Pumpkin Ifford was having a difficult time accepting the fact that she was looking at the very last fashion show her sister Anna would ever send her. Interested in seeing this final photo of Anna putting on a fashion show for her sister? Keep scrolling to check it out. The photo appeared to be taken from the floor looking up at Anna Cardwell. She was rocking an olive green hoodie and a pair of beige sweatpants. Anna held up peace signs with both hands and stuck her tongue out playfully as she flashed a smile at the camera. In the photo, Anna looked happy, loved, and living life to the fullest despite fighting off cancer. Fans agree this rare photo was a prime example of how strong Anna was as she spent the last 10 months fighting to live. Fans of Pumpkin and her family also found the photo to be heartbreaking. They knew how difficult and emotional the photo must have been for Lauren Pumpkin Efford to look at, let alone share with fans. Here is the photo Pumpkin shared with her fans via Instagram. Lauren Pumpkin Efford also shared a photo of her sister Anna receiving one of her first rounds of chemo. The photo revealed it was a family affair as everyone came to the hospital to support her during this difficult time. Again, Anna was all smiles in the photo and flashed a peace sign for the camera. This photo showed how surrounded she was by her loved ones during the last 10 months of her life. The photo revealed Mama June, her husband, Honey Boo Boo, and Pumpkin all showed up for Anna during one of her first rounds of chemo treatments. While Lauren Pumpkin Ifford has posted several things on her Instagram stories about her sister passing away, she has not made a post on her Instagram wall just yet. Do you plan on attending Anna's funeral to say goodbye and pay respects to the family? Furthermore, what are your thoughts on the photos Pumpkin shared? Let us know in the comments and keep coming back for more updates on Lauren Pumpkin Ifford's family during this difficult time. As Mama June shows Ace previously reported, the details of Anna Chickadee Cardwell's funeral have been made public. Shockingly, Mama June Shannon confirmed both the viewing and the services after would be public for any fans who wanted to come and say goodbye. What Mama June did not share is how her daughter would be put to rest. Would she be buried? Would she be cremated? Or did the family have something else in mind? According to TMZ, it was Anna Chickadee Cardwell's wish to be put to rest via cremation. This information did cause fans to have another question. After her cremation, what would her family do with the ashes? More specifically, who would her ashes go to? Interesting in what the family has planned for after Anna Chickadee Cardwell's cremation. Keep reading for the details. According to TMZ, Anna's family plans to take as fair of an approach as possible to her remains after she's cremated. The ashes will be split up and divided among her family members. While specifics haven't been worked out as of yet, several family members want to have crystals or pieces of jewelry made with Anna's ashes inside. Furthermore, TMZ has learned that Anna Chickadee Cardwell is also being fingerprinted at the funeral home. The fingerprints can be used to make keepsakes as well. Turns out, several family members are thinking about using her fingerprints to get tattoos as well. As Mama June shows Ace previously reported, fans were not sure how to feel about Anna having an open casket funeral that was open to the public. Many fans questioned if it was really what Anna wanted or if her family was just making a last-ditch effort to exploit her death. 
TMZ, however, reports sources have confirmed Anna Chickadee Cardwell requested a public open casket funeral to give fans a chance to say goodbye to her. In her honor, Anna's family also has plans for a memorial bench. They hope the bench will provide loved ones and fans with a place to go when they would like to talk to her or feel close to her. The location planned for this memorial bench, however, has not been revealed just yet. Do you think it was really Anna Chickadee Cardwell's wish to have an open casket public funeral? Furthermore, do you think using her ashes and fingerprints to make keepsakes is a great way to honor her memory? Share your thoughts in the comments and keep coming back for more updates on Mama June Shannon's family during this difficult time.